When J. Robert Oppenheimer witnessed the first atomic explosion, he realized he had crossed a boundary that could never be uncrossed. As the leader of the Manhattan Project, he had fulfilled his duty to end World War II, but victory came at a price that would haunt him forever. In the aftermath, Oppenheimer became the voice of conscience in a world that had tasted the power of annihilation. He was tormented by the devastation wrought on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, questioning the morality of unleashing such destruction. Quoting ancient texts, he revealed his inner turmoil. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer's regret was not just personal, it was philosophical. He saw himself as a scientist who had given humanity a tool it might not be wise enough to wield. For the rest of his life, he struggled to warn leaders against the unchecked spread of nuclear arms, advocating for international control and restraint. His warnings often fell on deaf ears. Isolated and stripped of power during the Red Scare, Oppenheimer's legacy became a cautionary tale. A genius burdened by the consequences of his creation, forever wrestling with the ethics of human progress.